West Ham have gone ahead to beat Man United at the London Stadium. Two goals to nil. Mohamed Kudus scoring the second one and the first one coming in through from Gerard Bowen. And Eric Ten Hag has gotten humbled by the former United manager. That is David Moyes. Welcome to the Rokadi Media Football. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? You know it each and every time a big team gets shocked, you know, however much I support it. And I'm already going to head to the United Matters here and obviously talked about it. I'm here to talk about West Ham and United. But deeply, so much about West Ham and how they're going to hit obviously orchestrate this win. We all know that West Ham fans were really furious when <coughs> David Moyes came up and really rested players when they are playing against Liverpool in the Carabao Cup. Most of them thought that it was really the right but it was really the wrong thing to do because this cup was really in their reach if at all they had gone ahead to knock out liverpool at the anfield stadium but he has gone ahead he has gone ahead to prove us wrong even me i thought that he would have gone ahead to fill a very fully fit side you know that would have gone ahead to obviously shock liverpool because liverpool went ahead to drop players because they are preparing to play against arsenal on saturday but he has gone ahead to exonerate himself today with him beating Eric Ten Hag by two goals to nil. So let's see close to 100. Let's see close to 100 likes much in this video, and let's continue to obviously talk about this. Now, it was really Gerard Bowen who did this, and an assist went to Lucas Paqueta. That is Gerard Bowen for you. Gerard Bowen, you see, he put it past Andre Onana. Andre Onana tried to stop it for the first time, but as he stopped it from going past him. It really went back in the feet of Gerard Bowen. Gerard Bowen really put in the back of the net to make it 1-0 for the club of West Ham. And Gerard Bowen went ahead to obviously celebrate. And for Gerard Bowen, he's really having a very good season. If at all, you've been really following him up. You know, he scored, by the way, in, in the Carabao Cup game. You saw him score, you know. He scored against Liverpool. And he has again a hate to obviously score today while leading the line. Remember, Mikel Antonio is really injured and looks like they're not having a number nine. Looks like Danny Ings is one of those players that he doesn't trust. And today, Gerard Bowen has gone ahead to obviously score his 11th goal of the Premier League season. And he is on fire. And today has been his, sorry, and three days back, it was his birthday, 20th of 20th of December, he made 27 years of age, but he's aging like fine wine. That is Gerard Bowen. And when you look at the man that has gone ahead to obviously put him the assist, that is Paqueta, he obviously went ahead to register another. Remember, in the game they played over the weekend, he put up three assists as, as West Ham was beating, um, as West Ham was beating, West Ham was beating which team? Was beating, uh, is it Fulham? by three goals to nil. He put up three assists. And today, he has gone ahead to put up two assists into this fixture when everything was really going in the right ways of West Ham. And Mohamed Kudus went ahead to obviously double the lead. Kudus. Kudus. In the 78th minute, he went ahead to obviously double the lead. And it came in through after Kobe Menu. Went ahead to lose position, possession sloppily, as you see there. He lost possession sloppily, you know, and this ball landed to Lucas Paqueta. And guess what Lucas Paqueta did? He read well the run of Muhammad Kudus like a book and really released him. And guess what Muhammad Kudus did? He ran into this space and went in for a heavy shot into the bottom corner. It was a perfect finish. It was a huge blunder by the youngster, Kobe Menu, but you expect these things to happen when players like Kobe Menu are obviously coming into shape and being grown by their managers like Eric Ten Hag. But Kudus has gone ahead to score goals for the side of West Ham and for the person behind all those assists, that is Lucas Paqueta. That has been his fifth assist. In two games, he has five assists. What a season he's having at... What a season he's having at West Ham and that shows you exactly why teams like... Man City were interested in signing him as a replacement for uh, for Ika Gundogan. And now Mohamed Kudus has gone ahead to play 15 games at West Ham. He has gone ahead to score six goals and one assist. That is Mohamed Kudus for you. Hitting the ground running at the Premier League is really great. But remember Mohamed Kudus was one of those players that us were interested in. And I think would have gone ahead to put in a very good effort. You know, he's talented, but he's a physical player. 
the way he runs, <clears throat> you know, the way he runs is really unbelievable. He's really energetic and he puts in a lot of shifts every time he's being called in to do. Now, for West Ham, they never had really an easy game, but the only chances they got, and they're not clear cut, but they went ahead to obviously kill them off. For example, Man United had some chances for them to obviously kill off this game. And it really, it really looked like they really had to kill them off, especially in the first half. This was a chance coming in from Alejandro Ganacho. You get? And all the two best chances of Man United landed on Alejandro Ganacho, who couldn't obviously kill off the game. Look at Alejandro Ganacho. That was the first chance he got. Facing the goalkeeper in the 34th minute, released by Anthony, and he failed to score. It was a huge chance, and it was really bad for Alejandro Ganacho not to kill off that. Then... He also had another one. He had another big chance to obviously score for the club of Manchester United, but he couldn't in the first half. This is it. You see, he had another chance. He was released, but he couldn't obviously shoot and really create something important through that. But it looked like everything for Man United was supposed to go through Alejandro Ganacho, but never went on as plan but for West Ham they are cruising and they've cruised past Man United because when you look at the Premier League table they're really an, ahead of United with um, West Ham is having 30 points Man United is having 28 so it shows you exactly how everything is really not going on as planned but the way Ten Hag will went ahead obviously drop Amra but has been my point of concern and how he fronts Scott McTominay ahead of these players. I'm really baffled with what Ten Hag really loves in Scott McTominay. I've been one of those vocal people about how a non-quality player starts ahead of a quality player. You cannot find it at Arsenal. All those players at Arsenal, be, be Emily smith Rowe, he has quality. El Nini is better than Scott McTominay. That is it. El Nini is better than Scott McTominay. Let's all agree on that. Then... The other guy is uh, <coughs> even Lokonga. Lokonga has a better talent than Scott McTominay, you know? So, Jorginho is better than Scott McTominay. Name it. Every player that plays this midfield of Arsenal is better than this guy. And Ten Hag is going to hate to stick with him. And that's why, that's why West Ham went ahead to come through and obviously humble the club of Manchester United at the London Stadium. 12 shots by... West Ham, 11 shots by Man United, 5 shots on target by West Ham, 3 shots on target by Man United, 34% ball possession by West Ham, 66% ball possession by Man United, 312 passes completed by West Ham, United completed 604, 79% passing accuracy by West Ham, United had 85%, 13 fouls by West Ham, 15 fouls by Man United, 2, fou two yellow cards to West Ham, 3 to Man United, Zero red cards to both sides, one offside to West Ham, and one offside to Man United, four corners to each. But every time you have possession and don't make it count, right? <laughs> it really looks like you have money and you're hungry, you know? How can you be hungry when you have money, you know? It's the same analogy that you can relate to that. We had the lion's share of the possession as Man United, but we failed to kill off those chances and games, and it really cost us today, and that's why David Moyes has gone ahead to humble us, because every time you get chances and don't use them, when your opponent gets them, he'll capitalize onto them because they hit you on the break and they really get you down. So, United have gone ahead to lose their, I think is it, the eighth? Because we've, United has played... 18 games, they've gone ahead to win seven and drawn one, meaning that they've gone ahead to lose those are nine, and they've gone ahead to lose nine. They've won eight, drawn one, and lost nine. Very unbelievable for the club of Man United and how everything is really panning out. So I really feel like it's really a very bad day for Man United, very bad day in office, but if at all you want to hear my rant about Eric Ten Hag, United Matters Channel is the place to be. I've already gone ahead, obviously, do a live video for like 50 minutes, blaming Eric Ten Hag for the poor team selection and putting Scott McTominay and leaving him on that pitch to play for all those minutes. Rokan David is my name. Your reactions to this are welcome in the comment section below. We are going to the big one.
Man sorry, Arsenal being hosted by Liverpool at Anfield. Right now, Tottenham Hotspur is leading Everton by two goals to nil. Uh, let me see. Newcastle, Luton Town. How is it going? Uh, Fulham, Burnley 0-0. Zero, zero. Nottingham Forest, Burnley 0-0. Zero, zero. Luton Town has already scored. You know, they are leading Newcastle by one goal to nil. So that is it. So, we sign out for now. See you later. And may the living to God bless you abundantly. The Muslims, Barak Laufikum, we are returning with everything concerning Liverpool and Arsenal. When the team news is out, we will be here. In like 30 minutes from now, 15. 30-40 minutes, we'll be back here.